What's up guys, welcome to the channel, uh, I am Stevie the Military Biker, as you can see we are back in the garage again for another uh, install and review video and today we're going to be installing and reviewing this windshield by Freedom Shields. All right, so uh, what's happening, guys? Uh, so there you go. So there is the uh, Freedom Shields. Uh, let me read it off the back. This is a seven-inch dark grey tint shield. All right, I wanted to keep the bike, obviously, with the black and, and red theme, as you can see down there. Um, and these guys in Freedom Shields, Mike and Freedom Shields, uh, sent me this to try out for the bike, do a little install review video of it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, as you can see, I've taken off the old OEM uh, windshield that was on there, that was on the, the Street Glide special. That's off. I'm going to put this on, uh, and I'm, you know, sort of first impressions on this. As you can see, there you can see the curve on it. If you can see that. Yeah, you can see the curve at the top, sort of flare at the top. So hopefully this should be really good for deflecting the wind uh, away. And they do have some great reviews um, stating that fact. So, and the one thing that stands out immediately to me is is the thickness of this. Look at that. Look how thick that is, man. That's probably at least a quarter of an inch thickness on that, and it's just. I mean, solid. I mean, there's no way that's gonna bend or snap or anything like that. So, um, really, really, really cool. Uh, well made. These are custom made by order, um, so they, they don't have just like tons of them sat on the shelf. I mean, they will obviously custom make it to your order, depend on your height. Uh, and if you do email them, uh, tell them your height and what you're after, they will obviously, you know, custom make this um, a shield for you specifically for your height, for your bike, etc., etc. So it's really cool. Um, I am going to stick it on uh, and I'm going to take it for a quick test drive, see what the, see what it's like and then obviously uh, I will remove the plastic and then I'll show you guys out on the road when I'm actually after the test ride's done uh, and I'll squeeze out on the road and you can be able to see it in all its glory. Uh, but they do so they do say, uh, obviously Freedom Shields do say and it says it there on the sticker, that, uh, free, please feel free to mount the shield and take a short test ride as long as you have good visibility over the shield. Make sure you leave the plastic uh, protective film on the shield this stuff all right on both sides and um, if you're not completely satisfied with the height or the performance of the shield you may retain the shield uh, for full credit less shipping obviously uh, as long as the shield is like new uh, and the protective plastic firm film has not been removed and it's got a phone number and obviously the, the information down the bottom there the emails and whatever so they say you know if it doesn't fit if you're happy if you're unhappy with it once you get it um, you can send it back to them free of charge obviously less the shipping and they'll give you it you know they'll send you another one that actually fits uh, but they are pretty pretty you know proper um at getting it bang on the first time that you know you guys obviously order your windshield but you know things go wrong but anyway i'm gonna fit this on take up a test drive uh, and um, i will see you guys out on the road once i've done the test ride and you can see it without the plastic film on uh, and we'll give it a give it a short review see you shortly Twenty minutes later. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, never gets old, man. Never gets old. Get out of view. Anyway, uh, so you see me fit the uh, the Freedom Shields uh, windshield, seven inch, seven inch windshield in dark tint. Uh, this is the standard. Uh, shield that, the, that those guys uh, Freedom Shields do. Uh, they do the tour inversion uh, as well. Which let me just put the old uh, autopilot on. The the, the tour inversion has an extra three inches, um, which brings it out further to the sides to each side, which again helps with the wind going around your body. Um, Mike at Freedom Shields sent me the, the standard one. Uh, to test out and try out 7 inch like I said, bikes it out man, check it out awesome um, so it's really cool, first impressions, yeah, it's great man it was it was simple to fit, as you know most windshields are um, but so far, I mean I was just been doing it about 110 there didn't feel a bloody thing around my helmet, nothing at all um, this one's designed the flare 
uh, on the, the Freedom Shield design is to put the air approximately two to three inches uh, over your body and over your helmet which is exactly what this is doing um, again now if I yeah so it literally is it's about two to three inches above my helmet I can feel it with my hands which is doing a fantastic job I'm feeling no buffering whatsoever um, which is awesome the only, the only sort of um, the downside really is it's 30% thicker as I've shown you in the install it's 30% thicker than a normal windshield now I think personally what would be handy with that is an extra extra bit on the bolts maybe send you extra you know a couple of extra bolts uh, longer you know for the front the three bolts the two short ones uh, and the middle long one that's the only thing I can say really is a bit of a downside is the fact that you know there's not much grip on the thread um, there's, a, there's enough don't get me wrong there's enough to keep it on there but it you know potentially in my opinion could do the an extra few millimeters um, on there just to to make sure that it's not going to come out you're not going to lose a bolt while riding but you know that's just my opinion um, you know we're talking about the windshield here and I do have the trim on the front as well so then maybe that's probably why um, but they do they do grip pretty quick um, and obviously you don't over tighten them because you're going to crack the front of the bike the, you know the, the cover on the front the, the, the back wing cover uh, or you're actually going to crack the windshield which is not what you want to do or worst case scenario you're going to thread the bolts completely pull the bolts the, the brass um, threads that you thread your, your windshield into your windshield bolts into um, you're going to pull them completely out and that will be that, that's just a game changer that's you know really bad so you don't want to uh, be doing that clearly so don't go mad when you're putting it when you're putting it on man you don't need to go mad but it's doing a fantastic job i'm loving this i really am loving it it is really doing a fantastic job of, of putting the wind over me and around my body um the only place i'm feeling wind from right now is bouncing off my shins and up that's the only place you know because i don't have any um any deflectors in the front there which you know each to their own um, but that's the only place I'm feeling the wind, man. Which is bloody awesome, if I'm honest. You know, I think if you're doing... I mean, this is, just, like I said, the standard. I think if you're doing tons and tons and tons of, of touring miles, you know, you could maybe think about getting the... Uh, get some! You can maybe think about getting the extended version, the touring version uh, of these shields. Um, but, you know, I can see that's like, you know, I'm 5 foot 10. That's a seven inch shield, perfect for me. I can see way over, which is great. I can see super far in the distance um, and it's exactly where it should be uh, for a windshield uh, of my, you know, of my height. I'll pull over somewhere down here so you, uh, you know, do a closer look at it. Uh, you guys can check out the flare and whatever you're on the ground. Uh, but you know, it is, it's fantastic. I'm really, really impressed. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna have to excuse the old uh, helmet hair and wind hair. Um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm super impressed. Where is it? Where's the front there? I'm super impressed with the Freedom Shields uh, windshield. They are, like I said in the install video, they are, let me just turn this like that, they are custom made. Um, so obviously you send in all your details of how tall you are, etc. what type of uh, shield you actually want uh, in, in regards to, you can get them between five inches and 16 inches. Um, you can get them in uh, clear, you can get them in light gray, medium gray and dark gray which is what i've got dark tint basically um you know the the, the price range from uh, 109 us dollars to around about 149.99 which i think is is really good for what you're getting um you know and that obviously depends on what what type of what type of shield you're getting what size of shield what you know all of the the different type of variants that you could get but you know i'm really impressed with it man i really am you know i, I just just before we stopped and pulled over, I was I was hitting about 120, uh, and again I couldn't feel a thing. And you know I can imagine sat at over that 80, 90 mile an hour. Been a man, I'm, I'm in kilometres here in Canada. Um, you know 80, 90 uh, miles an hour, you're not going to feel a thing, man. It's really good. Then they are designed to help you know keep the the bike uh, stable at high speeds as well. So that's that's what it says on their website. Um, so it's really really awesome, awesome. Uh, sun's right there, man. Look at that. Let's try it like that there we go um so yeah i mean i'm super impressed i really am it is a awesome awesome shield 
Um, and again, you know, it's not costing an arm and a leg. It's not costing you 160, 170, 200 dollars. You know, like I said, they can, you can get a, a normal one for 109 uh, bucks, up to 100, 150 bucks. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm really impressed. I actually am impressed, very impressed. Um, so if you think about getting, you know, spending the money on the big, the big names, the big name brands. Uh, check these guys out man check, before you do that and I, I promise you you're going to get value for money absolutely value for money um, and tell them tell Mike that, that Freedom Shield the, the military bike I sent you uh, <laughs> and I'll, I'll give you a, a sweet sweet deal anyway so I'm going to get back on the road uh, I hope you enjoyed that little install and slightly little bit of a review video for you um, like you know go check it out man if you've got a glide if you've got a, a road glide street glide or anything like that and you know you want a new shield then <laughs> all the bikes are out today um, you know go check these guys out and they do all sorts of different variants of, of windshields for road glides and Harley Davidson's Indians etc uh, street glides obviously um, so yeah uh, I can't speak hardly enough for this um, windshield I really can't I'm super impressed and it. it looks amazing on the front of the bike man it really does uh, get my shadow out of the way it looks really awesome Super impressed. Anyway, I'm going to hit the road. Uh, I am Stevie, the military biker. If you did like this video, then please remember to give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you are, and if you know somebody that's looking for a windshield for the bike, uh, point them in this direction of Freedom Shields. I will leave the link down below to that precise, uh, well, to the link that helps you build your windscreen. Uh, and I'll also leave the, the, the link to uh, Freedom Shields website down below as well. Um, so yeah, don't be uh, going spending a ton of money when you can get something like this for a really really uh you know competitive price which is it's outstanding um so yeah super impressed uh super 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 impressed <laughs> anyway i'm off i'm going riding i am stevie the military biker thanks for watching if you are indeed new to the channel please remember uh to subscribe like that says down there right now uh just some more great videos for you guys to watch on the channel um anyway i'm off i'm going riding stay safe wherever you are around the world and remember You'll never walk alone.